Leo. Hey, Leos. How you doing? Good. All right. Pussycats. Welcome to your weekly reading with me, Cindy. My sweet pussycats. Aw. I don't know what it is about me and Leo. You guys are so sweet. Okay. Can't shuffle the cards. Dang. I'm in a real trouble here. So, while I have a trouble, let me tell you. So, today's reading, this week's reading, is um, a pleasant surprise. So if you look in the description, you kind of scroll down a little bit, go past what the weekly schedule is, you will see what the monthly schedule is. And the last week in the month is surprise. So depending on the message that I get, like what I'm supposed to be calling in for, um, it could be an unpre uh, unpleasant surprise. It could be a soulmate surprise could be a pleasant surprise like we have today. So today is a pleasant surprise and the messages as always have been quite interesting and fascinating. I love being able to experience this. I really do. Okay, so Pussycats, Leo, what's your pleasant surprise? What's the pleasant surprise for Leo? This is a big deck, so it's hard for me, my little hands, to shuffle it. Leo, pleasant surprise, Leo. What is Leo's pleasant surprise? Leo's pleasant surprise. All right, I'm going to do four shuffles and pull from the top. One. Three cards came out. Sometimes spirit just drops the ball when you're threatened like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, cow spirit, the miracles are endless. Deer spirit, bring a gentle touch. And hawk spirit, let spirit be your guide. Well, this is going to be interesting. That's so many cards. Wow. Okay. This is the first part. There's actually three oracle decks that I'm utilizing to pull out this message. <clears throat> okay. I want to try to get something in before I pull out more cards here. Okay. All right. Let me go to the next deck. Sorry. Next deck. Okay. Pleasant surprise for Leo. Pleasant surprise for Leo. More about this pleasant surprise for Leo. You guys going to do this to me? She gave me so many cards here. Surfacing and integrity. Wow. Dang. This is a big message today for you. <laughs> okay, there's one more deck. One more deck. I'm getting to the point where my little white dog, Lily, I can't tell if it's her hair or my hair <laughs> that's stuck to me. Okay. Um, can we get one more? There we go. Oh, yeah. I'm not surprised. Actually, that came out. So, Earthworm. Six cards you, gave, got, you got out of three piles. Three decks. I feel like if you're, okay, yeah, this is a pleasant surprise. I'm working on that part here. I'm getting the story out of this. Okay, I know, I know, I see where the pleasant surprise is. The, ple the present, I've been so tongue-tied with this topic this week. Oh my gosh. This is um, the pleasant surprise. Let me get there in a minute. If you aren't right now, you will be dealing with someone who I feel is, I don't want to say vulnerable. I don't think they see it. They're not the kind of person that plays the victim role or anything like that at all. They might just be feeling tender. As if, you know, there was something painful. The scab healed. The scab, you know, the skin underneath can be kind of tender. Just they're fresh out of something. They're kind of fresh out of something, Leo. They're fresh out of something. The energy could be reversed here. 
but the way this hawk spear message is coming in, I don't know that it is. You're, you're dealing with someone who is fresh out of something. Was painful, but you know, bring a gentle touch. So with the surfacing and the integrity, this, this <coughs> excuse me, this person, well, sorry, I know I bounced back. Okay, I'm going back to the cow card. Um, what happens is I start to get, I'll be looking at a set of cards and I will start to pull in a message and all of a sudden my eyes will be drawn here and a strong message will come in right away and I have to go to it. I have to kind of skip out on where I was. Um, the, the miracles are endless here. This person really has the whole feeling and attitude and approach to life anything can happen there which is pretty cool because they've been through some shit and i feel like you're catching them um a bit on the up curve you know they you know life is like this and they've been and they're, they're starting to come up and you know they bring this energy i feel like you're going to help to bring them on the up curve a little bit faster again it could be reversed they might be coming to bring you on an up curve but I'm not sensing that and I'm not and I and I feel like my own like clear thinking is telling is agreeing with my intuition on that because I know Leo has really brought Leo's self up the last few months like really amazing um so I needed to say that that this person is kind of on an it's coming up on the, the upswing and somehow you coming into their life or you interacting with them at this time. You may even already know this person, but maybe you're going to be interacting with them a little more than you used to. Um, helping them come up on an upswing here. This person is significant to you. It's, yeah, like they're not coming in for no reason here. Um, these two cards kind of come together for me with this, all this beautiful color and all this beautiful color here. And this is how this person is going to influence you. There's a whole bunch of creative energy in you. Um, passion, desire, creativity. Of course, you're a fire sign, right? That's who you are, that's what you are. Um, there's a new level here. This is a little bit of the pleasant surprise. There's more with this hawk spirit though. Um, this person brings this up, this starts to bubble up. In you it's almost uh you know i get this card i get like ticklish energy too it's almost like little butterflies and you know um just kind of giddy energy feeling you know just you silly sometimes just feeling kind of silly and it, it's like this is all sitting inside here waiting to come out waiting to come out and it's as if there's a part of you that has always had this in you. Whatever this creative spark energy is, I wanna say it's like a new approach on life. And it's never been, it's like you need a light switch to go off or you need something to trigger things, right? Like to turn it on. And that's what this person does for you. That's kind of the pleasant surprise here. It's very um, a mutual benefit to both of you because you're, you're gonna help this person kind of speed up their um, upswing, whatever they've been through. I feel like by the time you're interacting with them, they're no longer down here. They're no longer down in the, um, the you of that life flow. And they're coming up. But you know, it could take a while, to, but because of you, there's something you do. You bring this person up, your, your sun, your shining, your light, your clarity, your warmth, all those things that Leo can be, you kind of bring to this person and you bring them up. And then in doing that, it really brings this out in this person. It's almost like you're pushing your own gift towards you by inspiring and having an effect on this other person who's coming out of a downswing. They're, they're coming out of the downswing and they're just 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 started that little upswing i feel like when you start connecting with them and this is going to be a beautiful release it's um the more and more you connect with this person i want to say the more tension there's going to be though 
Um, but And it's not because you're trying to hold on tight. It's because this expands and expands and expands because it's ready to come out and grow and actually exist and be something through you. Um, and you feel that growth and expansion in many ways. Now, the hawk spirit, let spirit be your guide. This is the pleasant surprise. So there may be points in this connection with this person, however it plays out, that um, you're not sure what to do. You're not sure what course of action to take. You're not sure if you go left or you should go right, you know. Um, and this is a romantic connection. Maybe you're a little bit nervous about scaring the person off because they seem like you can kind of tell, you know, they've come out of a downswing. So if somebody's just pulled off a scab and it's tender, you're not gonna go, and, <laughs> right? Like that's gonna hurt and they're gonna go the other way and you may not see them again. So you, you, I feel like you want to be careful not to do that. Um, but this, and this hawk spirit is telling you, you know what? It's okay, we have your back, this can't fail. And it can't fail because this, it's almost like this person in life, this is them. <laughs> this is like this person is just them. And you're meeting them when they're not quite there. You know, they're coming, they, it's a shadow work. It's all, you know, we all go that stuff and you go through something hard or painful or any sort of loss or grief, massive change, whatever it is, we kind of get out of feeling our like ourselves and we go into deep emotions that can take us out of high vibrational who we really are. So this person is naturally in this and you're gonna help catapult them quickly back up to that. And in doing so, there's something beautiful inside you that's gonna be released. So I wanna get into the tarot. So remember, remember, spirit is here to guide you in this. Um, try to go with your intuition. If you don't know what to do, you absolutely don't, then don't do anything. Like just, that's a, cho that's a choice too. Those are options for you. This is not a do or die. I feel like this is kind of meant to happen here and nothing's gonna stop that. <sighs> so tired of dropping cards. Okay. I ordered a new table too. I have a new table and a new desk. And, oh boy, and a new chair. I have to put them together. I should have lots of room if I drop cards, they should at least stay on the table. So I'm going into the tarot now. I wanna know more about what's within you with the earthworm. There's something here very beautiful and significant that's going to start expanding and growing. The more and more you connect with this person, whether that's something creative through work even. I got charity work. It could be something through charity. And it could also be whatever it is, it is a soulmate connection. Whether you're meant to be soulmates on a friendship level, a collaborative level, or... Um, wow! Interesting message. Or um, a romantic level. So the moon card came out and right away, the message that I got with this was you're calling them in. You've been calling in this person somehow. And being the moon, wow, they're responding. They're absolutely responding. You guys might be having dreams about each other with this moon card. It's like you're calling them in and they're responding. They're responding. You're calling them in. This is, the, and that's kind of that leadership part here of Leo. You're taking the lead. You are taking the lead and you are calling them in. You're calling them in and they're responding. What the hell does that have to do with the glow inside you? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I don't get the answer to the question. <laughs> you know, I used to have like teachers in high school like that. You would ask a question and they would kind of answer it. Like, know that he answered the question I was talking about. Politicians do that too. Maybe we have like political spirit guides today. Okay, come on. I want to know more. Okay, I guess they're, okay, I'm being impatient. I'm sorry, I'm being impatient. My spirit guides are saying I'm being impatient. So, because I'm asking you, them, this um, color. 
this expansion, this growth, this creative passion within you. Um, so it's almost your deeper self knows that it's time for this to come out. It's a new level of you, a new way of functioning. And you are calling this person in because they are like the catalyst to that. And you are the catalyst to them uplifting you. Like it's pretty interesting. Okay, so yes, calling in. Calling in spirit, your soulmate here. Yep, there you go. It's time. And we have the wheel card. So I'm just, I feel like I'm just kind of getting the information that I already know here. So it's, yeah, it's kind of a destined thing. It's time for this to happen now for whatever reason. The energy around you and them and the world is very conducive to this being successful between the two of you. It's actually a very big cycle change. We're looking at a full moon here. And um, I'm just, see wow, yeah, I'm seeing the shape is mimicked three times. Like the circle shape is mimicked. Well, we could actually say four. One, one, two, three, four. There's something else within the worm. This second circle, it's like something unknown. What is that? What is this second circle? What is in this? What is this second? It's like a second, another rebirth of some sort in you. What is this second circle? The Sky Guardian which is the Knight of Swords. Some sort of direct action here that will take place after this growth and expansion that's happening within you. Very direct action. Where is this action taking, Leo? Where is this action taking, Leo? Oh, wow. Well, that's something. <laughs> we have the Eight of Cups, the Shaman, or Shaman. I, th I say Shaman. I, that's, that's what Google told me to say. <laughs> and the Empress. And the Empress. The Shaman is like, or Shaman, is um, like the Hierophant. And the Eight of Cups. You're, this is, pretty intense like this is going to take you on a journey towards a very deep connection here with a very divine energy a very like motherly abundant beautiful energy like one who i want to say one who manifests very much in a three-dimensional creation she has her little bucket of magic huh she's got her little bucket of magic here i just seeing this shaman and this empress together i feel that the two of you are going to make this very intense it's a very intense connection and it's not seen at first. It's hidden in the second circle in the worm. It was hidden in here. I was distracted by this big circle and then I was kind of told to count the circles and then I saw it. This secondary. This is gonna challenge your integrity for some reason. Or how you, or what you thought your integrity was. And this is what pushes you to the second circle, the second rebirth. Like it's like a cycle. So the first cycle you hit with this person, something very dramatic happens. Let me say, 
The easiest, easiest way is just to make it romantic. So you connect with this person, it's very intense. There's a lot of passion, a lot of desire. Um, and then, I don't know why this for some reason triggers your integrity or the integrity you have within yourself. Perhaps the situation, maybe it's a boss and an employee and somehow it's like, that's not right, I can't do that. Or maybe one of you are in a relationship or I, I don't know. There's something here that challenges what you find to be an integral part of yourself, your identity here. Um, but the, you can't, like you can't stop this too, which is why let spirit be your guide. Let spirit kind of tell you things will play out to show you the way. That's the pleasant surprise. Things are going to play out to show you the way that you should go here. Because once this second rebirth starts, I feel that there's a very powerful type of... I'm Okay, I'm connecting this... Let me start. I'm connecting... Okay. These are the tarot cards that came out, right? These are the tarot cards, the Eight of Cups, the Shaman, and the Empress. And then, so I see the integrity with the Eight of Cups here, like kind of going within and, and really thinking about how you see yourself, how the world sees you and all that stuff and getting it figured out. And then you really do. And with the Shaman, you see things on a very brighter, uh, a very broader way. You're not just looking at everything in terms of, okay, well, this is, what's expected, you almost get some sort of clarity in terms of just being white, right outside the box, like thinking outside the box, not in this little box, this confinement, these concepts, these ideas. And w when you do that, you, you and this person, I wanna say that this third, this second little circle is like love and it's love that manifests really great things. It's love that will love that will manifest really great and powerful things. And that's why this hawk spirit is here to guide you. Like this is sort of meant to happen. Wow, look at that. See? So I'm sorry, I'm shuffling from my um Archangel deck to get you a final message. You got indigo and crystal children. Archangel Metatron, you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. Wow. See, I feel like you and this person are going to do things. And this could be an indication to it. You may do things with children. You may just do things for people that are down and out whose spirit needs to be brought up again. Like, right, this person has this silliness, this... You know, let's just embrace life like a child energy. And perhaps you are more the nurturer, the protector, the leader energy. And combining the two of you is perfect for doing something bigger than what you both are. That's nice. So remember, the this whole reading is kind of like a pleasant surprise. But this is the pleasant surprise here. You will have guidance. There will be kind of indications if you should turn left or you should turn right, if you should take action or not right now, like just to follow that lead. Let spirit kind of lead you through here and you'll be okay. And that's it. Okay, that's our. Thanks, Leo. That was a really interesting message. It was a pleasant surprise. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves, pussycats. Bye.